and I really like that you bought <laughs> yeah. dress you with red. It wasn't uh, in purpose. Uh, <laughs> I swear. I don't buy I it, swear, guys. I Do swear, you buy it? I swear. I swear. <laughs> no, no, I came to her room and I was like, no way. They are sisters. No okay, way. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, coconut yeah. sugar and cocoa boy, guys. We are both cocoa. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it's a very, very, very deep rooted problem that um, is going to need like a national, you know, like a big intervention. I agree right? with you. All right, guys, look at that crazy view. This is Kingston from uphill. And today we have a very special chapter because today I'm actually going to try for the first time Rastafarian food. And we are here with a good friend of mine. <laughs> Janik. Hello, uh, so. my name is Coconut Sugar. <laughs> and Janik basically, guys, has a YouTube channel and I want to support her. I want her to start her, to push her YouTube channel and really like, make it like really active. And she promised me that she's gonna do it. We're gonna turn this, where's the sun? Okay, the sun is above us. So, Guys, I'm gonna put the link to her YouTube channel. You wanna tell me a little bit about your YouTube channel and what is your YouTube channel talking about? Sure, so my YouTube channel is all about uh, lifestyle, fitness, That's health. I'm really pushing a healthy lifestyle. I want my lifestyle to inspire others to not only move their body, but also to do the best for their health, both physically and mentally and even emotionally. And you also cook, so guys, look what she made me. She actually asked for her because I saw on her YouTube and on her Instagram, not on your YouTube, actually on her Instagram, that she makes cookies and I asked her if she can make some for me. So yeah, she made it and uh, it looks amazing. Of course, we're going to try later. What is in this cookie, by the way? So this is a vegan gluten-free cookie. Okay. Um, it's basically a protein cookie because okay. I use the besan. So I am actually mixed with um, Indian and uh, besan is what we call chickpea flour okay so the chickpea is gonna it's gonna That's have good. a large portion of protein and uh, it's a ginger spice cookie and inside there's chinese pear jam oh sounds like delicious so guys it's pretty hot and as you all know i'm bald and i don't want to get burned in my scalp so we're gonna go inside the restaurant i have to tell you guys share with you something that in the last three days I already had plans with three different people, but I'm learning Jamaica step by step and actually all of them canceled me. So what I'm learning from that in Jamaica that you have to have plan A, B and C. It's not even enough B, right? What do you think about it, Janik? I agree with you. <laughs> it's like, even if it's look like, wow, look at that yeah. view from here. Yeah. Hey, Hello. how are you? So she's the owner of the restaurant. Yes, she's yes. the owner. How are you? So nice to, to meet have you. you. Happy Sunday. Nice Happy to meet Sunday. You. What is your name again? Camila. Camila. Ah, yes. Camila's Kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Camila's Camila, nice kitchen. to meet you. So nice My name to is meet Shai. You. Welcome. Hi. The Coco, the Coco channel Boy. is oh, Coco Boy. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. So we, we have an interview today. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we have an interview. Oh, After, oh, even if we can. Three o'clock, right? Yeah. We said. No, yeah. Before, now? No, we just go with the flow, basically. My partner in crime here. My mama. Ah, okay. We, we had a show last night, so yeah, we're just kind of gathering our yeah, bearings. We were up, yeah. we didn't leave here until after two. Wow. What kind so of show? It was a reggae show. Mommy oh, and daddy were coming nice. back after 20 years of not performing. All right. So, Your mother and father, yes. they are the one who performed. Yes, you're the big artist right here. So, so you are the one who performed yesterday. You missed it. I missed it. I you didn't want to see me. What is your okay. name? I'm Karida. Wow, I like mom. your handshake. <laughs> this is the first time that someone <laughs> had yeah. handshake yeah. like that. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, okay. I, yeah, I really Rastaway, like it. You know? uh, this is the rest of it. And I know also Rastaway. you yeah, like do like that, right? Like a lion. Okay, that's beautiful. Yeah. So what is the difference? I mean, when you gonna shake it like that and when you gonna shake it like that? Wow, I don't know. Energy. You yeah. just know. Okay. Yeah. So like yeah. that? You, okay. Yeah. Okay, and you shake it like that. Really well. You know, uh, we'll do the lion pose. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So we are supposed to do an interview okay. with them. It was supposed to be three, but they said that we just go with the flow. Don't feel yeah. like. Uh, you want okay. just do it? Uh, this is for you. Oh, thank you. This is a vegan, oh. gluten free. Oh, oh, I thought you Jamie. were Jamaican. Are you also coming with him? Yeah, I'm oh. Jamaican. Oh, so, so I'm the one that I'm told not. him about ah. your restaurant. Thank you and for that. I you had reached that out to the kitchen phone. Yes. yes. I know that you guys are Rastafarian and I know he wants to show more of Jamaican yeah. culture. Yes. So I thought it would be yes. a so good thing. So last night. But maybe you can, we can give you, send you some of the footage. footage. Oh, yeah. that would be lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank can you. we have some? I wanted to come, but yeah. but he, he had um, plans yes, for yesterday, so it was available. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. But I mean, I'm going to stay here for a long time, so I believe that I will have a chance to see you okay. again. I and mean, if you're interested in, in staying up here sometime, you know, let us know. Here we have a little yeah, Airbnb. Airbnb. Airbnb or ah, okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. How, okay. how long are you planning on staying? I'm here for two weeks so far, and I'm going to stay here at least three months and even might extend. Before you go, I'm going to highly suggest that you come and look at a place you just finished. It's a okay. two bedroom Sorry, cottage. Um, okay. But yeah, I yeah, mean, maybe yeah. it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I will. You know? I yeah. want to also show it on camera. Yeah, why All not? Right. Thank yeah, you. let's do it. Yeah, right. for sure. <laughs> and we're gonna put the link to the restaurant and everything. Yeah, for sure. Big up. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, like, I just guys started to talk about it. That, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm learning Jamaica step by step, and you know, like, people cancelled me in the last three days, and uh, yeah, I mean, now I need to really. I mean, my natural flow is to have no plan. I mean, the best plan is to have no plan. But here it's like, I need to change it. Definitely different tactic in Jamaica. <laughs> but with Janik, it didn't happen. I mean, it was just, we scheduled and it just happened in the date. So Janik, maybe it's not a typical Jamaican, no, you know, no. <laughs> in that term of uh, Jamaican time or Jamaican, uh, you know, canceled, cancellations. Okay. Definitely not so, every. So let's okay. see the view. Let's yeah. go inside yeah. the restaurant. And also, maybe see up here too. Yeah, so sure. Levels. Let's go. So you're ready to do it when I go? Oh, me? I'm in it. We're both with the mother daughter, Sarah. Uh, okay. Oh, no, me no know nothing about this. <laughs> um, Sarah planned. She, she told me every single day, mother daughter interview, mother I daughter had interview. No clue. <laughs> okay, well, Guys, we're just going to go with the flow. Right. Don't yeah. feel like it's no too right. official. Okay, yeah, don't feel pressure. Not your no. Yeah, okay. we're just like, <laughs> it's very authentic. My videos are very authentic. They are not like too official, you know? Let me just so what is going on up here by the way um it's just you know we have dining up here but like a, it's hot now so yeah it's wouldn't dine pretty here, sunny when when we do events um, okay and people are not coming to to go to the event they just want to eat we invite them upstairs because we open just have a see. look yeah, yeah oh. let's just have a look right, it's, a, I'm gonna just change up. it's an amazing day so yeah i will be, i mean like wow okay oh, wow nice. that's beautiful the view must be spectacular from here sure huh? yeah yeah and actually guys also on the other side there is a beautiful view you cannot see it from here i don't have a zoom on this camera as you all know but i hope also the clouds will not surprise us with the rain because it looks a little bit cloudy what do you say i hope so too uh, yeah it has been raining a lot it is a rainy season in Jamaica now. it so. is a rainy until when by the way um well previously it would be a set number of months like maybe three months up going into December okay. but because of climate change it hasn't been yeah. um, it hasn't been stabilized it hasn't been as in the past it's now all over the place uh, yeah it's like changing yeah, like crazy yeah the, yeah the season is changing crazily so basically during the the rainy season it's supposed to be cold usually or not well cooler cooler but definitely a lot of rain so okay. in December it will definitely be cooler everywhere okay some places will even be cold oh um but the rainy season and the dry season are the only seasons in jamaica okay we don't have summer winter spring yeah awesome. like tropical weather basically yeah we yeah. just have rainy and dry right but the, yeah. the rainy season and the dry seasons they have been changing um they haven't been following the pattern they used to just okay. like the fruits and the by the way tell me a little bit about yourself like you are indian jamaican yeah so i am um Euro Indo Indo Jamaican. <laughs> Euro Indo Jamaican. Okay. Yes, on my father's side there is Scottish and the black. Okay. And on my mother's side there is Indian and black. So your father is basically Scottish Jamaican. Yeah. And, and your my mother, mother is Jamaican Indian. Indian. Jamaican Indian. Yes. So your grandmother also were born here. Yes. So you are. It's only like the great greats that came. Oh, so. <laughs> so it's... my my great 
great grandfather would have come directly from Scotland. So you are rooted here like for a long, yeah, long time for ago. Maybe two or three generations. Yeah, and a lot of Indians here, yeah. by the way, right? Yes, yeah. I see a lot of combinations. Like, I mean, I recognize it already because after I saw you, so I started to see like how more like Indians, Jamaicans look like. Yes. It's also part of the food here, right? Like, yes, a big part of the cuisine. A lot of curry and I mean even, well, you know, plant cuisine is completely different, but Jamaican cuisine on a whole is not necessarily only plant-based. So we have like curry chicken, um, curry goats, a lot of pepper and you know the different aspects from Indian cuisine coming in like with the spices and everything yeah. okay that's amazing yeah I mean Indian cuisine is uh, really strong and popular all around the world so right. yeah and Indians like yeah they are basically in a lot of countries yes. USA a lot of countries and uh, yeah also I've been to India it's an amazing country and I have a lot of Indian followers so guys just follow her yes like uh, <laughs> Give her your support. We're gonna bring you to how many subscribers do you have right now? 142, 41. Okay, 141. so guys, we, you know what we need to do? We need to get her to at least 1,000 subscribers that she will have the option to uh, open the monetization and start to make money out of YouTube. I trust you. We can do it pretty fast when we want <laughs> and we want. So yeah, that's beautiful. Um, a beautiful view from here and we're just gonna go I think like down because yeah the sun yeah, the here sun is yeah it's like striking my head so strong I mean I have my cap is here but I think right now when we're going down I don't need to use it anymore wow it's so beautiful the view let's see the restaurant how it looks okay I love that everything is in the nature here, you know, like yes. that. Aital, remember that term? Aital, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she just, she just. So, so we have a me. thing. We say Aital is vital. Aital is vital. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I like it. So expand a little bit, elaborate, because people do not know what is Aital. It's I T A L, right? Yes, I T A L is a term in Jamaica that um, encompasses Rastafarian lifestyle. So eating naturally and living naturally in close um, harmonization with nature. Okay. And uh, so ital is vital just means that you should be ital. <laughs> you should be ital. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and ital also means like uh, that is like you told me like. All right. So we have ital food. So ital when we talk food, about ital exactly. food, exactly. Um, most people in Jamaica, you say ital food, they'll in instinctively or naturally think of Rastafarian plant-based cuisine that is also not involving a lot of salt not right? involving excessive salt or sugar um, more in touch with nature so healthier and more okay in touch with nature, yeah. and for a lot of people here this food like you told me and this is a <laughs> word that i just learned today guys blonde i bland. didn't know blonde oh, bland bland yes okay bland i mean it can sound like blend like when you blend something but it's not no. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Bland. But you write it with A, right? Yes, B L A N D. But you said it exactly like bland. Like, bland. Okay. So yeah, yeah bland. So it's when the food is kind of tasteless or tasteless, not not appealing. Yeah. Yeah. So some Jamaicans, um, their palate is more accustomed to a lot more salt and sugar. So some Jamaicans might find atal food to be a little bit bland. Yeah. If they're not accustomed to that, um, they might think, oh, this needs more salt, this needs more sugar. But um, people who train themselves to eat more healthily with not excessive salt, just the right amount of salt, will be able to appreciate Ital food. For sure. I mean, I think that everyone can teach his tongue also in, I know, like with sugar or with. Um, or with salt just you know get used to the tongue i mean at the beginning it's maybe a little bit weird like she said you feel like it's blunt but after a while if i'm not eating sugar or salt like i used to eat and lower the amount of it mm -hmm. in my food <coughs> so if i put you a little bit this is like for me in coffee today i drink coffee without sugar right it took me some time so to get there. Can't do that. Now you put me a little bit, and I just like, oh, no, I cannot drink it anymore. Sugar, yeah. Just 
two little uh, I don't know like quart of sugar and that's it like but then you can taste the food more for the individual flavors right because exactly. you can taste the coffee better without yeah sugar. I like the bitterness now right. I I want same, to bitterness same with the food I tell food if you train your tongue that way then you start to taste ah this is what this vegetable tastes the real taste of the food you can start to taste because salt kind of kills that if yeah you get too much salt I agree with you yeah. tell me I want to like ask you a question let's sit here yes you know i want to ask you a question i pay attention like for example that in my hostel for example yes. a lot of men are the cookers are the, are the men the one who cooks is it more like do you think more common here for men to like uh cook no it's in jamaican no. uh jamaican culture no it's more common for women to cook. for women to cook yeah so how but, is but um a lot of a lot of people now and they cook really good, by the way. Yes. Oh, thank you. No, no. I <laughs> On mean, behalf of all the Jamaicans, uh, thank yeah. you. No, the men. I mean, like, I, yes. I haven't tried women yet. Food as yet. Today I'm gonna try. Yeah. I believe. Like. So there are a lot of, um, in recent times, a lot of um, aspiring male chefs. Okay. Yeah, but um, our culture. I would say it's more popular for women to cook. For women to cook. Yeah, but men that can cook and love to cook, they cook is not a big deal. So for example, you would for example, you would date someone, you wouldn't expect him to cook, for example. If 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 I did not like to cook, it's easy in Jamaica to find a man that like to cook. Okay. So I don't need to cook. Because a lot and of men. He, he won't think, oh, she's lazy, she's not cooking. It's not like that. Okay. Whoever wants to cook and cooks well, just cooks. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. there is no ego. About this specific topic, Thing. there There's, is no there ego. Is no, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, equal. Whoever likes to cook and can cook okay. well. That's yeah. good. Because like in a lot of countries, in a lot of uh, cultures, for example, women should do everything. Like Indian cultures like that, I know. Okay, exactly. Yeah. That's an, uh, a good um, example. So here it's just anybody who wants to cook, they just cook. Um, but even like my little brother is training to become a chef. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, so like most chefs <clears throat> in the world, like the majority of them are men. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I mean, really? Yeah. I mean, look at the restaurants. Like, I mean, there are a lot of women also, but the majority, yeah, are That's men. true. Yeah. yeah, like in the world, like if you go to chef restaurant, yes. you will find most of them are men. Yes. I mean, but I think a lot of Jamaican men can cook and cook really good. Yeah. Wow, that was amazing. Even if it's not their profession, I think they like. And it was like you said, by the way, the cook, the the meal that they cooked for me, it was like without salt. So yes. I really enjoyed the okra and the dumplings and the, yeah, all the vegetable they put inside. It mm -hmm. was really good. Yes. Janique wanna show me something guys yeah. about the toilet here, about the bathroom. So this bathroom. Hey, I'm filming here actually, and I didn't know that. And then I saw like you live here and then I told her. What about you? You filming videos also? Yes. Sure. Now here? Yeah? yeah? Oh nice. ah. <laughs> everybody these days guys become a YouTuber. So Hi. come come and say hello. Hi. Come and say hello. <laughs> come, don't film me from there. I'm uh, please oh. come. Come and say hello. So guys, they are about to be YouTubers also and I'm going to show, I'm going to put the link when they're going to make their YouTube channel uh, very soon. They are Israelis and they are here in Jamaica for a long time. Come, come, the woman in red. Come, come. Come. No, it's funny. Okay. Look at the, at the gear. I hear your voice and I'm like... And, okay. <laughs> so I told her that my <laughs> friends are living here. Hi. Nice to meet you. you Good too. to see you. Oh, yeah, you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. You too. <laughs> yeah. She has blue hey, eyes. Amazing. But you need to speak in English, English. right? Yeah. Also, you YouTube going to. She has. Green no, she speak. Uh, ah, she spoke okay. in Hebrew. She said Makore. So guys, Makore is like, what's up? It's like Wagwan. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nah. I like the 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 mic. You know, ah, yeah, Janil, 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 Janil gave you that. Janil, Janil. Janil. What are you doing here? Oh, we just are uh, eating there. here, and we're gonna. Um, Making, we're gonna make like a nice chapter on the Rastafarian food, you know, like. Nice. Yeah. And what about you? What are you doing today? Like, what kind of chapter? What are you filming? 
we are talking about why we are stuck in Jamaica. Mm, that's a we good topic. We got stuck in Jamaica. You got stuck in Jamaica. We I got mean, stuck this, in is, Jamaica. this is a good, sta- a good um, chapter to start with. And I really like that you both yeah. dress you with red. You know it wasn't uh, in purpose. Uh, <laughs> I swear. I don't buy it, I guys. Swear, I Do you swear, buy it? I swear. I you know, no, I came to our room and I was like, no way. They are sisters. No okay, way. okay. We are, we are with Mind the same readers. energy, actually. Same yeah. energy, yeah, yeah. So, no way. I mean, okay. So, I, I will not elaborate on this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of things to say in my mind about this. Say, but uh, say. No, 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 I'm not going to say it. I don't want to <laughs> embarrass you. So, yeah, um... Okay. What I want to tell you is like, this could be a really good thumbnail. Like when I think about it, just yeah, film too. yourself like that. Yeah, the red yeah, also okay. will attract the eye and you are both beautiful. So yeah, mm. I mean, what do you think about it, Thank guys? You. Tell me in the comments. You're going <laughs> to follow her. When they're going to do the chapter, the video and everything, I'm going to publish it on my channel to support them also. So you will have uh, an amazing content from them. <laughs> I believe so. Yeah. We'll do it in a grill. So have a good luck with it. And yeah, you have you also... Thank you. And uh, they are doing here performance in the nights, you know. What? They are doing here shows. Yeah, like actually, she told me like she it's did really like cool. uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Last night. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah. You should come. Okay. So yeah. see you later. Yeah. See you. See you. Ciao. Ciao. So, Janique, Bye. What did you want? Bye. Okay, we get back to you, Janik. Yeah. What do you want to show me, like on the toilet? I didn't yeah. forget you. You should keep calling me coconut sugar. So they coconut can remember sugar, okay, coconut name. sugar. Coconut sugar and cocoa boy. Yeah, yeah, coconut yeah. sugar and cocoa boy, guys. We are both cocoa. <laughs> okay, so this bathroom, it's a cistrine. Okay. Cistrine is another one of those words that it's patois, but okay. it's like coming out of Rasta culture. Cistrine, it just means sister. So when you say my sistrin, sistrin oh. is like sister, it, it means they're talking to a female. That's so good. sistrin is for the female, <laughs> female okay. bathroom. I like and then it. over here we have brethren. Brethren. So okay. brethren is the like the patois word for brother, my brother. Oh. Yeah. So this is like in patois, it's brother, sister. Yeah. Okay. But it's, I like it's, it. this this patois word is highly um, influenced by Rasta culture. All right. So Rasta, Rastas would normally call it Sistrin, Brethren. Okay. Yeah, they and call like so that. Sistrin also, it's by Patwa culture. It's Patwa, but it's Rasta culture. Ah, Rasta there is. Culture. Okay. So this is not Rasta culture. Both of them are Patwa words. So they, they're Jamaica, Jamaican um, dialect, yeah. but they're highly influenced by Rasta variant. Both? Culture. Both of them. Both of them. Okay. Yeah, so you will hear a Rasta. It will be very normal for a Rasta man to say Brethren. But normal Jamaicans who are not Rastafarian also use this word. So I will see it, by the way, all over Jamaica. This uh, you will not see this word printed in a restaurant unless it is a restaurant that is showcasing um, Jamaican culture or Rasta culture. Okay, like yeah. Ital. Normally you say you say female or male, okay. but this is a very like um, patwa word used a lot by Rasta. All right. Rasta people. Okay, yeah. guys. I think this is a very interesting culture. The owner is ready, I think. Oh, okay. We want to ask you something. Yes. Of course, like if we can film and talk to the chef a little bit inside the kitchen, if it's okay with you. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, the kitchen looks very clean. That's from, and this is also something that I really like, you know? Yeah, sure. Cool. And and, and we talked about it, by the way, Genique, another yeah. another chef. We have a man chef. I mean, yeah, another man yeah. chef. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. So we do filming in here for TV. Okay. Ah, you do filming for here yes. from here for TV. Yes. Okay. Let me take this off. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. So you are the chef, man? Yeah, one of. One of? Yeah. Okay. So for how long do you, uh, are you a chef? Um, from 2015. 2015, so it's yeah. almost eight years. Yeah. Eight to nine. But I not only specialize in vegan, I do other cuisine as well, local and Chinese. Okay, and do you love what you do? Yes. That's this is the most important. I mean, I think in this kind of job, if you don't love it, you cannot survive too long, right? Because it's very intense, right? You have to do what you love or else you'll never work a day in your life. Oh, that's good, man. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I mean, life is too short to do something that you don't love, right? Exactly. 
I mean, like, yeah, like, you have to. Have to have the you passion, have you have to dedicate yourself to it. That's good. Yeah, That's good. So what, what made you um, decide that you want to be a chef? What made me decide? Yeah, like in 2015. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. That's I like it, man. Okay, so you have passion for food, so you said like, okay, I just, so you cooked before, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you said, I just want to make it as my profession. Make it as my profession. That's good. Man. Oh, you need to ask him now. Okay. Coming to a, a, a vegan Ital restaurant, what is the difference now between what he was doing before and what he's doing in Camila's kitchen? That's a beautiful question. Yeah. That, he, that if I, I'm not from the Jamaican <laughs> culture, so <laughs> thank you for your help. <laughs> Well, that question, you know, one of the, most, the, the major effect uh, moving from local and meat and coming into vegetarian is the health benefit of it. So okay. Not only I'm doing the work, I'm also consuming the work also. So it's not just, just about making it tasty? No. It's about making it healthy as yeah. well. So better living choice. Tell him also the truth. It is this man here used to be an athlete. Yes. And you see how oh. I put on him, him, him touch him out, this yeah. small thing, this big thing I was, here. I was um, a shot put throw, shot put and discus for Jamaica College. Well, what, what, sorry, what does it mean? Like? Shot put with the ball. Ah, with the ball. Yeah, that you just do like that. Throw. Okay. So I was a thrower. Okay, you were a thrower. Yeah, for okay. Jamaica College. So, so we told him that coming here now, he have to get back that physique. Yeah. You know, and plus, when you're representing Camila's Kitchen, you need to look a certain way. That's you know, good. Because the food is supposed to show on you. Yeah. So we'll give him a challenge. You have two months. You have to trim <laughs> down. So how long is this restaurant uh, open? It's now two years, you know. Two years? Two years yeah. Okay. And what made you start a, a, a business uh, as a restaurant? like? Well, you know, this because it's not a it's not a, a, um, a easy business, you know, it's, it's a, a tough business. It's a tough, tough business. And on the hill, Reggae Mountain up here, it's even tougher uh, to bring people on the exactly. flat, you know, the location, you know, it's not that far, but it's still a, in people's mind is far. You yeah. Know? And people just want to go quick, quick fix. And so it's hard. But I mean, we started this vision with Skyline Levels, which is the entire uh, venue, okay. which is really a cultural venue we keep reggae shows we keep um you know like reasoning which is a rasta word for conversation you know reasoning about important matters we keep um cultural dance we keep um film shows like um classical film shows that um okay. people haven't seen uh, for a long time that have social commentary so it's not just a just a just restaurant a, and food yeah exactly so before long before camila was born this was a restaurant, oh. uh, the, one of the first Ital restaurants in Jamaica, actually. Not here, like in, yeah, in, in this premises, ah, but not in this, this premise, not specific not really this one. Foot, but right da a little further okay. down. So if I, I'll show you some pictures of it. It was just like a little log cabin, okay. and that was the first uh, restaurant. Interesting. And then now, when Camila started her wellness thing, and Eat Well is part of her uh, wellness platform. Um, you know, when I started it, she was away. And we had to start it because food is an important part of the culture. Yeah. You know, you can't have like music, reggae music, and thing, and don't have no food. So um, I started it, and all the rest of the family were like almost cussing me and said, "Why don't you know it's Camila thing that?" Mm -hmm. I said, "Yeah, but we need food." So you know, I was really driving it and start the thing, and then then she came now with her more what you would call now. New age. New age, okay. New age, New um, age. Ital food. I was just a regular Ital student, That's you know? Good. But they, she brought in like the Fusion. special burgers yeah. and the wrap and the nachos. So you were born Rastafarian in, in a way? Was, like I, 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 you I, became. I sight up, as they call it. You don't say turn Rasta because okay. we believe that you're born, kind of born into it, in the way oh. you think, the consciousness. Um, so, you, you know, you say sight up because in you already, it's just for you to sight up Rastafari. Okay. So I maybe sight up when I was 16, you know. All right. Um, so, so what do you recommend us to take to eat? Because I'm very hungry, and <laughs> like I well, believe that you need I mean, also. You're really lucky hungry. that you come on a Sunday. On Sunday, we usually do a, what we call Ital medley. Oh. Okay. So that means a little bit of everything, you know. A so little bit. On a good day, let's do it. Let's go for it. You, you know, you get a okay. taste of a, a few of them. That's yeah. amazing. So. And you know, I go get everything today because we had an event last night. So, um, so yeah, I mean, you you'll have enough, but it won't yeah. be everything on the menu. Okay. I think enough is enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> we will manage with what we have. Yeah, yes. yeah. 
I mean, no problem. So we made the order, yes, right now, basically. So We're just going to wait for the food. Yeah, yeah, so just maybe a little bit of everything, the nachos, the, um, okay. the global, the, mm -hmm. you know, that you, so that you can talk about the different dishes. All right. For sure. Yeah. Thanks, man. No problem. And the dessert. Right. Okay. Is a dessert. <laughs> you love the dessert part. also. You know, I have two addictions because I quit smoking like uh, weed and I don't barely like drink alcohol. Like, Congratulations. Very, very like rare for me to drink alcohol. And you alcohol. did this towards being more healthy, right? I did it actually, I tell you what, when I started to smoke weed like around 10 years ago, I quit with alcohol. And then when I quit with weed because I felt like it doesn't serve me and it doesn't like benefits me, and I feel like my frequency get higher than that. So when I smoked, I just felt like, oh, I don't want it anymore in my life. So I already quit the you alcohol. You have to listen to your body. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so I already quit the alcohol. So now I don't want the alcohol again, yes. you know? So the alcohol, I feel like it's big a very <laughs> big, it's a very low frequency, yes, you know? Yes, very low. <laughs> and, and like, you know, it makes people ego very big yes, and it yes. causes violence sometimes. Yes. And so this is why I do it like very rare. Yeah, and me too also. Maybe yes. only like once or twice a year. That's beautiful. Yes. So for me like right now, my addictions guys, it's coffee and sugar. So yeah, <laughs> <the> like, dessert. <laughs> so yeah, this is what but you just this, said. This, this dessert, dessert is healthier, less uh, okay. less guilty dessert. Yeah. But like just what just you did tasty. here, yeah. Just yeah, just less like, taste. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Actually, supply them to newly fetching restaurants in. So we need to maybe, maybe there is a collaboration yeah. that uh, we are here. I would love to that. collaborate. Like this yeah. is a chickpeas uh, flower. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can talk about it. Yes, okay. definitely. Yeah. In fact, Camila have a new business now. I mean, her exercise business is called Well, well Fit. fit I love well. it. Yeah. But this one is going to be called Well Good well Foods. Good foods right? oh, yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a food manufacturing company. Oh, cool. Um, all vegan. Many of the products are gluten free. Um, and we're doing, you know, we're just basically bringing to the supermarkets and stores and Love those that, kind of because people of our kind here are struggling. We go into yes. supermarket, there's nothing yes, there for us to so just pick exactly. up and go. Exactly. So yeah. Pete, that's a market there yeah. for that. We're excited. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. And then what, what we're going to have is the try and package the restaurant food, you know, like so mm -hmm. when we do the burger meat. Yes. We can meat so called. It's really yeah. walnut meat. Right. Um we can also supply and make it at yes. scale and yes. supply the and Yes, and people can buy yeah. kinda like um veg out and yes, yeah. exactly. But exactly. So you can have it on top of your pasta, right. put it in your salads. Right. And, you know, we'll we'll provide different examples of ways you can use it. So yeah, it's a really cool. You feel that there is a change, that there is more demand like for things yes. like that in Jamaica I right do. now? I do believe so. Yeah? You know yeah. something yeah. you mentioned about and uh, you have a sugar addiction. Okay. Um, it's interesting that the Ministry of Health of Jamaica has called on Camila to be their representative for the national no sugar campaign. Oh, I love wow. that. Wow. Well, Congratulations. Let me I'll tell you why. Amazing. Congratulations. Now, right? Wow. Right. So we, you know, type two diabetes is a very big problem in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. They've said that we are the amputee capital of the world, which means that we have lost more, you know, limbs to yeah. type two diabetes wow. than anywhere else in the world. Right? Here in Jamaica. Here in Jamaica and so, the Caribbean. But it's yeah, crazy. I mean, United States it's not in the first on. place. Yeah. United States is, but United States is not Caribbean. Okay, so right. it's not it's okay. The Caribbean. Yeah. We're yeah. talking and about and the Caribbean. Heart disease, right? Um, so these are all chronic diseases that are completely related to our lifestyle. Yes. And we do have a sugar problem in Jamaica. I, mean, I see that. I saw that. Sugar in everything. I just talked with my friend yesterday about uh, we yeah. were in the club and like yeah. I see like a lot of men and a lot of women that are very fat. Yeah. And I said like. Like this is like for me like okay so I mean the automatic comparison comparison is to Africa because like right. like I mean a lot of people here do not want to compare maybe Jamaica to Africa yes but I mean it's part of the history here yes. and when I was in Africa it's not like that most mm -hmm. people maybe it's also because of lack mm -hmm. you know of like progress in a way sure. in a lot of places yeah. so they don't have maybe the junk food yeah. the KFC yeah. that we yeah. see here the yeah. Domino's yeah. Pizza and yeah. all these yeah networks that come in from United yeah, States living and living more closer to nature. Exactly. Cooking their own food and exactly. using real ingredients. Yeah. Instead of and even the kids in the schools, I feel so sorry for them. Yeah, because all the option. snacks and the juices and mm -hmm. things that are full sold of salt full of and salt sugar. and sugar. Full of salt and sugar, yeah. Full. Because it's the only way to make it very addictive. 
yeah. for them to consume and it more. And that's what they're growing up on? That's yeah. They're growing up on. So what happens is that from a very young age, they're already addicted. So by the time they become adults, there's no They hope, can't, they can't. You know, because they're already wired, yeah. you know, and then you talk about that emotional connection to yes, sugar as to well. Sugar, yeah. That's a whole other, you know, <coughs> demon. I agree. I agree. You know, so, yeah. so you basically bring in a new. Um, so we're focusing on a lot of like advocacy and information when people have the information. So, for yeah. example, the last um, video that we put out is a YouTube video series. We taught people how to read labels. So, That's for example, good. we looked at a soda bottle. Right? Okay. And let's say that the grams were 30 grams of sugar. Wow. And by the way, the WHO recommends that we have no more than 20 to 25 grams of sugar every single day. Okay. <coughs> and we were talking about white sugar grams, also. Yes, in so one, one bottle. bottle. And they're but not going to one but, bottle. But here's the joke now. <laughs> the serving size is 2.5. So it's not so even one So you have serving. to multiply that 30 grams uh -huh. by 2.5 to oh get the gosh. amount of sugar in that one can wow. of soda. Then you're not talking about sauces, canned food, yes. yeah. breads, um, ketchup, even yeah, you know, snacks, snacks, chips, chips yeah. all this, yeah, you know, all these things that now and then add sweetie. up, <laughs> and, you know, and then them sweetie. all them sweetie too, yeah. and ice cream and and cookies. So you know, it's a very, very, very deep rooted problem that um, is going to need like a national, you know, like a big intervention. I agree right? with and you. So this is just a small way, but I think education is the way because then, you know, even my little daughter, she's 11 and I struggle with her because again, this is what she's around, you know, in her school, with friends, school. friends, you know, everything. It doesn't matter what you grow them up with. Peer they're pressure. still expo the peer pressure and stuff. So, I agree with you. you know, for and her also to exercise. have that consciousness, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, to be able to say, oh, mom, this, that, that, and she's starting to look at the label. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's like the, being able to kind of intervene at that very yeah. young age, just to be able to have that way of thinking. So you're not just mindlessly having these things so that hopefully by the time she becomes an adult, you know, we can slowly work on. You build the fundamentals. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's so. important because when I actually grew up um, vegetarian slash vegan my entire life, uh, I was pescatarian in high school. Pescatarian. That's, that's now you don't eat even fish? No. Okay. Um, that was my little no, no, no. treat. Broke out. Broke out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Broke out. But even growing up as a vegan child, I didn't, they did, my parents didn't teach me why we're eating this way. Uh -huh. Okay. Why we're not eating that's those so other things and why I can't have the snacks that all my friends are having. So they tried to prevent you from eating that, but they didn't explain. They didn't explain. I just know I wasn't allowed to eat this or that, yeah. and was you know, was it religion? Was it? It well, my parents when they got married, they decided to do it for health reasons. Oh. For health reasons. Yeah. It okay. Was purely for health. So, reasons. so you think like if they will explain to you more, you will have less difficulties with this? Yeah, as I a child. I probably wouldn't have ended up becoming pescatarian and eating things like Oreos mm -hmm. and all those stuff. That yeah. By the time I got to high school, they're not they're not sending packed lunch even if they send packed lunches the, the school cafeteria sells and in high school you, know, you have ways to get whatever you want to eat in in prep school maybe maybe in in primary school you have to eat the what comes in your lunch bag but even other kids might offer you you want a cookie you want yeah. a piece of this you know and, <laughs> and you're tempted as a you're child you're tempted yeah. as a child but you don't know why not to eat it yeah. you know I mean I even hid and ate meat it was that oh. bad they didn't explain to me why are we doing yeah. this so I had to ended up I ended up going on my own path and try river yeah. all the way back to the starting point and and finally I'm like ah no I understand. I understand I think the now I understand what they were the conclusion from that guys I yeah. think like even if parents <laughs> are watching that and they want to educate their kids like really explain to them why I think like it's the why is the most important thing because like the kids are much smarter than you think they are and yeah i mean you don't want to get them frustrated about it you want them really to understand embrace it, it. Mm -hmm. yeah and embrace it and maybe even teach other yeah. kids like on school mm -hmm. why i'm not eating this and mm -hmm. why maybe you should not eat this mm -hmm. as well so yeah i mean we should give them a little bit more respect and yeah from uh yeah from but what she, she will know that um and i have to put a plug in here for rasta because in jamaica Rasta was the people who are telling you about the Ital food diet from mm -hmm. day one. No salt, you know? No salt. Right, that is okay. Ital food generally is yeah. no salt, fresh vegetable, organic, you know? No, no. It's not like you put less, it's not at all. 
in in original time. Original, yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. you use a special type of salt. Pink salt. You know, salt. <laughs> and, and what is king salt? Pink, pink salt. Pink, pink salt, salt, like Himalaya salt. Yeah, from okay. Himalaya. Okay. Um, Himalaya. And, and much less and very low, you know, yes. um, addition of, of salt. But and more in my day, is you, you developed, and we used to eat out a calabash, you know? What is calabash? It's like a... It's a day, open the coconut and... No, it's not coconut. Oh, it's the, a, the big one. Tree, right, right. And, and it, it's, you know... Um, it's like a, a gourd. Fruit. It's a gourd. And you dry it out. And you, um, Rasta man and woman used to eat mostly from that yes. because it's natural. Okay. It's not like on a plastic plate or a china plate. It's That's from good. The, from yeah, a lot tree. of I see a lot right? of dishes yes. here from plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, that's not good. Exactly. We used to eat the idle food from that, and it was no salt. And you develop on the scotch bonnet pepper, mm -hmm. the, the the Jamaican flavor. scotch bonnet um, pepper. Scotch, so, sco sorry, scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet. Bonnet. Yes. Bonnet. Yes. bonnet. Yes. Okay, so yeah. scotch bonnet. What is that like? Can, can we show him a scotch bonnet pepper? Sure. Like it's a, it's a very spicy one. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, okay. Typical Jamaican grown here a lot. Yes. Um, I think. <laughs> I think probably comes from scotch and the um, the bonnet um, that you know how it looks. Wear, how, how it, it looks. The, the okay. It's kind of have a yeah. uh, kosher look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but so. it's really um, Rasta people love to cook with uh, and Jamaica with the general, scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet. Yeah. Scotch bonnet. Okay. Yeah, I would say that they they probably. So this one, it looks like habanero. It is a habanero. It's like a it's it like a like type a, of yeah. habanero. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And like so whatever you like can. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to use less salt, use more pepper. All <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's like uh, can make up on the flavor. Like okay, that's okay, it. that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, even like eating out as a kid, um, we ended up eating at a lot of idol shops. A lot of idol shop. Yeah. Idol shops. I idol restaurants. Idol restaurants. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's yeah, nice. Because yeah. because other restaurants would be using things like MSG and my parents. There is MSG my, here. Yeah, popular. My, it's popular my here in parents, Jamaica. Especially in like um, Chinese cuisine. Mm, yeah, Chinese um, cuisine are they very use popular. A lot of MSG. Some of them are no MSG restaurants, but some of them you have to ask them not to add. Um, but mm. my parents um, had us. They were not. My parents used to be. Seven Day Adventist, so that also influenced their <coughs> What is Seven Day Adventist? Um, it's a Christian denomination, and uh, this is why you tell me, by the way, that you keep the Shabbat, right? Yeah, I keep the Shabbat, but I didn't grow up Adventist, and my parents are not Adventist. Adventist is like evangelist, you mean? Uh, oh, it's a different one. It's like you have Anglican, Catholic, different, different ones. Adventist okay. is one of them. So you basically are not working on Shabbat? On Sabbath? No, I don't work on Sabbath. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. You're, but, it's also in the Jewish am, culture, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know, but I am not Adventist. You are not Adventist. No, so why do you do that? are not Adventist. Because we, we simply live by the teachings of the Bible. We study the Bible for yeah. ourselves and not listen to what a church is telling us. Listen uh, to what okay. people are brainwashing us. Okay. We just study and uh, um, become enlightened by... By, by, by so your it. parents also do that, right? Yes. Yeah, so okay. we keep the Sabbath because it, it's there in the Bible in Genesis. God gave marriage and the Sabbath. Yeah. So that's what we keep. We don't keep it because they were Adventists. Okay. It's unrelated. Okay, gotcha. But you. what's related is that a strong influence of plant cuisine, of living more healthily. Um, not only Rastad, but some other groups or denominations have that. Well, I want to say some. I think only Adventists have that teachings they okay. follow the teachings of some prophet that uh, pushed plant cuisine okay so that's also in the way leviticus in terms of right the bible, Le right of the bible also on, on sorry yeah, sorry sorry i didn't hear you in the, the book of leviticus in the right bible. Leviticus. which you also probably have in the in the top in the Torah. Torah yeah, right. in the Torah. Yeah, in the Torah, yeah. It's like we, we keep we the Shabbat. We have it yeah. in the Bible as well about what you should not eat. Yeah, what you should not eat. Like so. in the Jewish tradition, it's called kosher. Kosher. Mm -hmm. So if it's not kosher, you cannot eat it. Like for example, the shrimps Absolutely. or the seafood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Same. you cannot eat it because like there is a reason for that, for not eating it. Because like a lot of people say, hey, you can just not eat it because it says on the Bible you cannot eat it. But if you look at the pork, like at the pig, this is a very filthy animal. It it, it it's able to eat her own poo and like even human poo. So this is why it's not a yes. good and, animal and, and to eat. Those kind of shellfish are scavengers. Of they the eat, sea. eat the They are like the cockroaches of the yes. sea, exactly. They are on yes. the bottom, does <laughs> eat everything, like all the let's see, let's say all the garbage of the ocean. They are yeah. 
eating. Yeah. So yeah, they are also filthy animals in yeah, a way. So we had that strong influence. So for me, I'm, I'm a very interesting person in the respect that I'm not from any denomination. Yeah. I'm not, I am just a child of God. I just read for me myself too. and I just let um, my creator enlighten me. Um, so I don't allow other church or other people to tell me what I should believe, but rather choose to believe what my I creator agree. is telling me. I agree. And so I have that influence not only from Rasta culture, being Jamaican, but also from. Um, Ooh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that again. And so I have that strong influence of not only Rasta culture, but also of um, the culture coming out of the Bible, of what yeah. and what is healthy, what is deemed healthy and yeah. not healthy. Uses the Bible and I've never eaten pork as a in guide, my life. Me? but never. not like as a... <laughs> and I never will. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I've never eaten pork in my life. You never ate? Never, never even ate. Oh, taste nice. or hide okay. and eat it. Never eat any. Okay. And I never... I, I have to admit <laughs> that I ate a lot of times. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, sometimes I do it, but yeah, I'm trying to avoid it. No like, judgment. Yeah. yeah, no judgment. Yeah. I mean, like, I just want to be I very transparent. Tell, I always tell people, you know, it's yeah. not good to be judgmental. For sure. And I believe that my creator did not call me to be judgmental exactly. to anyone. And I just encourage people to live a healthier lifestyle. Exactly. Even if you think you cannot cut out meat, even if you can't cut out meat, add the vegetables, add the fruits, add more of these healthy, more natural things, and slowly you will even find yourself becoming less attractive. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not also that easy to be, like, 100% vegetarian. I mean, you have to add some... Balance. Yeah, some balance, and the nutrition has to be very accurate. Otherwise, you can lose a lot of... You can be vitamins and all. I'm, 100%. You can be. Balanced for and sure. nutritious. Plant no, no, I'm sure. You but you have to, to know. know what you're doing. Exactly, what you yeah, said. You, you have, have to know to what know. you're doing. Otherwise, right. you can also hurt yourself. Because like, some people think that I just eat lettuce alone. I don't. <laughs> I am not a rabbit. Like a goat in the, in the bushes. <laughs> I like, am not yeah. a rabbit. No. <laughs> I, I, at work, they were having some seminar. And so, you know, everyone is getting like the pork and the chicken and all of this box food. Yeah. And they, they ask me what you want, you know, so they can ask the cater i tell them a good salad you know with many yeah. many different vegetables and ingredients with a variety finally i got one salad with only <clears throat> lettuce um carrot tomato. and tomato inside that's it nothing yeah. else here in jamaica yeah i think in jamaica i don't know for so far like the, the salads that i tried not that was you not have that to try successful. my salad. You have to yeah, try yeah. our salad. Yeah, yeah. Real salad. We're not that successful, <laughs> but yeah, maybe, maybe I need to try different Real places. Salad. Yeah. When yeah. our salad is finished, you don't even want no dressing. Okay. The right way to make the salad. Um, I wonder if we can just pop over here. Sorry. We can just um, go and come. We had some people from Mobe. Okay. Friends who came. Okay. Amazing. Last night. Amazing. And, and in the end, by. I want you to show me also the Airbnb. Yeah, man. But we can continue the conversation sure. over here. For sure. Right yeah, we'll sure. be back. But yeah. um, to I just need to. No yeah, problem. They, no they problem. came to be helping with stage management. Oh, so nice. They helped us. So it was nice meeting yes. you, and I like this shake hand. And okay. I already did it like. Like yeah, this yeah, natural. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's it's natural. Yeah. Used to yeah. That. <laughs> all right, well, I'm coming back. So it's all right. Okay. Not done yet. So okay. We'll all right. So that was a very interesting conversation, guys. And we're gonna wait for the food, and maybe there will be a dessert also, because like uh, Janique asked from them the <laughs> dessert. So yeah, oh, let's just go back to this crazy view here. Wow, there is another place here that actually you can. It's like a little bar. Mm. Wow, what this is like? It looks like there is a fire over there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Whew, I like these conversations. I like this kind of, you know, like these conversations of uh, really uh, improving our life quality by food, by spiritual elevation. And I think Jamaica is very much about it. And this is what I like about this place. So, yeah, guys, we're just going to wait for the food. And um, we're going to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful place. So guys, I just asked Janique what is her main focus because she seems like she has a lot of hobbies and a lot of things that she likes to do. And now she told me like she gonna she wants to be a full-time content creator, but on the other hand, she was she also wants to go to France to learn 
Yeah, what? so I, I have a bachelor's degree in marine biology. You already has it? I have, have it, it already. Okay. I want to go to France to do my master's in marine conservation. Okay. Because I want to do some research on seagrass restoration. Because a lot of the hotels... Like seagrass or seaweed? Or seagrass. there is a difference? It's a difference. It's, a, it's like how you have the corals. Okay. You have an ecosystem system closer to the shore okay. called the seagrass beds. Okay. And uh, they provide many services for the ecosystem and protect the shoreline and play a vital role. The seagrass, you mean? Yeah, the seagrass. Okay. They play a vital role, role in the marine. So um, I'm just going to ask you, like, how do you going to combine all of them together? Because if you're going <laughs> to learn your master's, you won't be able to do like full-time content creator so or full-time after, YouTuber. After, after I finish my master's, I can become a full-time. Maybe by then I will have enough subscribers and uh, viewers yeah. and uh, watch hours to be full-time creator. But no, in, but in you need to meantime, be consistent, you know? Like yes, I will be consistent. The, the, fo are the followers here that are going to follow following you, they want like, yes. eh, like content on a... Um, I will be consistent. On a weekly basis at, at I, least, you know? Yes, I will be consistent and I will be showing all of my viewers all of the things, including this marine, okay. um, you know, like scuba diving, snorkeling, wh how wide in the ocean is important to us and uh, around my research that I will eventually do. By the way, there is a very interesting question, you know, because, for example, if you take me, I don't believe in academic uh, studies or degrees too mm -hmm. much. I mean, I have a first degree, but I don't believe in it because I think, like, academia, academic uh, studies today are very um, old. Yes. They are not up to date. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of information outside today that... For example, YouTube, Google, you just click it and you just, yeah, you can, you can build a, a house. Lot. You can learn a lot without the, the university or without the school. You can build a house just from YouTube videos. Yeah. So this is what I mean, like, you know, like, it's very interesting. You seem very progressive in your thinking, in your thinking out of the box, not like the mainstream. And hey, how are you, bro? And, and out of the box, but still you want to go and learn maybe... Maybe because in 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 going there and in doing marine conservation, okay. I get the opportunity not only to meet other scientists and learn more about the current research, but also I can I can have like some immersion. So while I'm in France, I'll be able to improve my French, learn more about French culture, make videos on French culture, and I can go to Spain or Italy for my second year. So while I'm increasing my knowledge on research and doing some research in seagrass restoration i can also learn about other cultures and countries while i'm there so it's a win-win for me it's not just about, that's good yeah. so so you basically want to see yourself like traveling around the world and like not staying in jamaica like for the next years right if i understand you correctly like you want to travel yeah. back I and forth travel, yeah. back and forth that's good and like what is good about youtube that you can do it from anywhere you know yes. like you're not limited <laughs> by Time and space, yeah, definitely, you know, like definitely. location, freedom of location, I call it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like for those of you guys who do not understand it, freedom of location, it's one of the biggest advantages or the thing that if you get used to it, to be everywhere, anywhere you want at any time without like limitation, it's very difficult to, to go get back. to go back. <laughs> exactly. To go back and like not being in that position because for me, you know, I don't have a boss. I'm my own boss. And of course, it's responsibility by doing YouTube, creating content. You have to be consistent and you have to push yourself. Nobody there will tell you what to do. But the advantage of like being everywhere, it's like amazing. Wow. That looks amazing. Oh, Ooh, nice. Thank you. What is your name, by the way? My name is Denisha. 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 What a beautiful name. Nice name. I Thank you. I think like we're going to sit yeah. here, Denisha, okay. because it's a little bit sunny over here. And uh, yeah. This okay. is just one off. One off the coming. Okay. Okay. So this looks like the shroom burger. Okay. And so it's a, not the shroom wrap. Sorry. So the it's, it's wrap. a wrap. Mushroom wrap. So it's a mushroom. wrap that has mushrooms in it. And this is a jerk burger, so this one gonna be a little spicy. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be spicy, okay. Yeah, like Jamaican I'm gonna jerk. show you that, guys. Like, just gonna move it like that. You're gonna see. And this one here. Okay, let's just try it. Okay. Um, <coughs> I think maybe we can take this that we have more space for the camera. Yeah. I mean, it's really beautiful, but <laughs> now we need the, the space for the camera, so. 
So is this your first time trying vegan food? Yeah, vegan, not vegan food I tried, but definitely Jamaican, Ital. Yeah, this is gonna be the first time. It just, right. yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, okay. So I'll take this one. Yeah, sure. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It's good. Mm. Do you taste the Scotch bonnet pepper? I don't know what is the flavor of the pepper, so I don't know like, mm, but it's really good. I mean, <laughs> it's supposed to be really spicy. I mean, I feel like it's mm -hmm. medium spicy. Maybe I will get more of the spiciness if I get, when I get. Another one. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Thank you. Mm. I will just show you guys you what is going on back. here. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Everything look here. Very unique. Okay. So, yeah. I think like I just use this one and you can use this okay. plate in order to... So you... Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Wow. I need a napkin. <laughs> Napkin, napkin. It's okay. Let's just. And we have to wait for her to come back. Yeah. All time. Mm. It's good, right? Super good. Super delicious. Wow. I mean, guys, usually my 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 YouTube vlog is not about food, but definitely mm, this one is. Um, Tofu. It's worth to to show you guys because. Jamaican food is really special. Yeah, I think like this is a tofu, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Wow. You want to taste this? Really good. I'm full of the hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't mind anything now. Mm. Um. Wow, this is really spicy. Wow, it's really, mm. this is bread food, right? In the middle. I thought it's a pineapple in the beginning, but yes, it's not. Yes, it's a bread food. It's a bread food. And this no, is wait. really spicy, guys. I mean, like, there or is, is it a... cassava? No, it's bread food. Definitely it's bread, bread, food. bread food. Yeah. 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 Wow, that is good. Mm. Maybe I will turn my channel to um, <laughs> food. Food. <laughs> food channel. No, I'm joking. Food is a part of life. You should include Definitely. it more. <laughs> I think like everywhere I go, I show food, but not not put too much focus on that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, definitely, it's an important part of the culture. Yeah, for sure. That's why today's chapter is special because it's all about food. <laughs> Wow, mm. I don't think we can handle that amount. I thought like it's a very small dishes. Let's try. <laughs> mm. That's it, right? Food for the mm. Dessert is coming. Okay, guys, I want just to show you that yeah, you're going to see. Him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, it's a lot of food. But me and Shanika, um, I believe that we can handle this. Yes. So this, we have still the burger here, and yeah, okay, let's uh, let's celebrate this. Um, wow. Okay, let's see what is all about this burger. Mm. That's gonna be spicy. Ah, this is gonna be spicy. Be careful. Okay, okay. <laughs> it looks like lentils, web, uh, no? Um, mm -hmm. Or beans. Mm. Wow, so Is it good. focused? No, from here? No, um, it's okay. What do you want? It's focused, right? Yeah, it's all the time okay. focused, yeah. Because GoPro doesn't have any zoom, mm. so it's all the time focused, basically, okay. yeah. Mm. Actually, it's not that spicy, you know? I thought really? it's like more, yeah. Maybe as you eat, you might regret saying that. Usually in Jamaica, people eat spicy food. Mm -hmm. 
We love spicy food. Yeah. Coming from our influence of um, many, out of many one cultures, especially our influence from India and Africa. Okay. Because as you've been to these cultures, you know that they Indian, use a lot yeah. of spice. So a lot of our cuisine have because it's basically fusion cuisine <clears throat> of yeah. all these different cultures, especially African cultures coming out of Africa and uh, Indian culture. I see also a lot of Lebanese restaurants, yes. right? We have also we we had Lebanese coming to Jamaica later on after slavery. Yeah. So they brought a, a lot of their cuisine to here also. Mm -hmm. And Syrians as well. And Syrian. Mm -hmm. hmm. So guys, so far, so good. It's not, it's not spicy, but maybe my tolerance become really good to spicy. So I don't feel it, but I feel like my nose getting a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But it's super good because the burger is super crunchy. And like you have this sweet sauce inside mm. that are balancing the the burger that, wow, well, it's really good. And there's a homemade cheese inside. This mm. is a cheese. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I really like it. So far, the burger, mm. definitely my favorite one. But we have more to. Mm. You know that I have a problem. What? I eat pretty fast. <laughs> what about you? Slow. <laughs> Slow? Yeah. Like usually people are so amazed, you know, by the by the thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. What is that by the way? Sorrel. Sorrel. How it's called? Sorrel? Sorrel. Sorrel. So what is it? S O R R E L. So it's like a fruit? <clears throat> it's a cousin. Or uh, it's in the same family as the hibiscus plant. Mm, okay, Jamaica. And it, it bears a red, a red uh, flower that looks like this. Okay. And uh, we pick the 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 flowers off. The I don't know if there's it's the like flower a tea basically, fruit. but a cold tea. Yes. Yeah, so we um, pick boil the flowers it. off and we boil it down and uh, blend it and stuff, and we make the juice. It's very popular in Christmas time. Okay. So Christmas time we have sorrel and Jamaican fruitcake. In Mexico, for example, it's super popular. Mm -hmm. Like Jamaica. Like well, it's tell, called Jamaica. Us, tell us if it's ah, the Jamaica. same. Jamaica. You know that it's very funny. You know how Because it's it. Jamaica. It's Jamaica, <laughs> yeah. Because Jamaica is Jamaica. They probably got it from us. <laughs> because like when you tell people that you're going to go to Jamaica, you say, I'm going to go to Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. And the Jamaica juice, like this so, is from yeah. Ibiscus. So tell us, tell them, tell us if, tell your subscribers if it tastes the same as the one in Mexico. Wow. Yeah, the same. The same. It's yeah. amazing. And the sugar that they put here, it's probably like sugar cane? Yes, like probably natural. the juice from sugar cane. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And with ginger. Okay, yeah, it's super good. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, yeah, now I feel the ginger in the end because mm -hmm. you don't feel it immediately. It's like an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is like even a, like a Loaded Mexican, yeah, mm -hmm. Mexican style, yeah. Mexican style dish. Yeah, I see that there is also a lot of Mexican restaurants here. Mm hmm. Mm. Very crunchy. And very good. I like it. Wow. Okay, we have here this dish that is with salad. And I don't know, you tell me what is it. What is that? Mm, is this? Did you use this for? Um, yeah, no, I didn't use it. I use this one. Yeah, I didn't use it. This is um, broccoli. Ah, okay. And this is um, tofu. Is it tofu? No, it is yam. Yam. Mhm. Mm okay. Wow. It's like a yam dish. Yeah, I like the sauce. Wow, very rich in flavors. Very rich. Mm. That is super good. What is that? Let's try the salad. That's chickpeas oh. on top. Ah, this is chickpeas. Okay. I think you have to stab it. 
<laughs> yeah, I agree. And the chickpeas guys is a little bit, I think, like deep fried or something. Yes. And they are really crunchy. And they have homemade cheese inside. You can see the cheese. Yeah. So the cheese they make from cashew? Mm, most likely. Most likely. Mm. Mm. See, this is what salad is supposed yeah. to taste like. And this like. is, by the way, really spicy. <clears throat> well, <coughs> really spicy. Now you feel the spice. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's surprising because here I didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. But there, like, I was expecting that and so I didn't So let's share it. it. I take some. Yeah, like, we can also bring this specific plate to here. Let's just put it on our plate. Okay, so this one is a curry, right? Yes, that's a um, broad bean, is it? It looks like broad bean and curry. quinoa. Quinoa. Yeah. So let's try this one. So let me give you this now. Mm. And hand me this one. Mm, yeah. How is it? It's really good. I mean... I think like I'm less in general into curry um, stews. Yeah, and more into what kind of curry do you like? Or just mm, in general not really into curry? Yeah, I mean like I like it. Have you been to more Thailand? In, I tell you what, what is my favorite curry. My favorite curry is curry masaman, more Thai style, you know? Yeah, I was about to ask you if you've been to Thailand. Yeah, I've been like six or seven times in I Thailand. Want, I really want to visit Thailand one day. Wow, Thailand is like, was my, before I started to travel, it was my favorite location, my favorite destination. Yes. I was like traveling there every year, one month. It was like something that my manager <laughs> knew that I'm... You're going to Thailand. Exactly. Oh, he's gone to Thailand. <laughs> yeah, and like... I really enjoy Thailand, but I think like when I travel Thailand, I really traveled as a tourist and not as a traveler, you know, mm -hmm. because it's so different. All right. You just go to your hotel, to the resort, your, your day is pretty much the same, The same, you know, like the pool, the beach, there it's, is the room. It's not much exploring, party. not much exploring. Exactly. Right? And like since I started YouTube like two years ago almost. The way of me traveling around the world is much more exploring, trying to merge yes. inside the culture to get to know people from those countries and more like, you know, like really get to know the culture really right, good. Right, right. Mm. This is really good. This is, by the way, guys, this um, yam. And yeah, the salad was very explosive in terms of spiciness i think the salad is my favorite and it's really spicy right the, yam. the salad is not spicy it's the yam that's spicy the yam mm -hmm. are you sure because now i'm trying the yam and it's not like it's not spicy maybe i had a small pepper, s pepper. <laughs> scotch 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 bonnet scotch bonnet scotch bonnet bonnet it's like with the tea in the end or like bunny, like like mm -hmm. B O N N E T. Mm, bonnet, okay. Bonnet, yeah. Okay. Mm, there is also a tofu inside of here. Yeah. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Jamaican Rastafarian food. Aital is vital. Aital. It's vital. It's so, vital. Yes. Okay. Aital is vital. That is it. That is it. <laughs> Mm. I tell it's vital. So, it's very interesting how the dessert, like you told me about, gonna be like, because they have here like a very oh, interesting Oh, just wait, one. the dessert here is yeah. very good. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know which one they're gonna give us. Maybe the brownie, the brownies, the cheesecake is nice. Mmm. <clears throat> Those will have cheesecake. The Be vegetarian. Vegan, vegan cheesecake. Wow. This could be like really interesting yes. because I really like cheesecake. You can't compare it to regular cheesecake though. Mm. For sure. But still I want to see... It's not the same, but it's tasty. Yeah, where they can take it, you know, like mm -hmm. still, you know, with the cheese that is not real cheese. So for vegan cheesecake, we use cashews as the base. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like there is no other option for making cheese or from almonds no you also. can some some persons um in the vegan community um use like vegan cream cheese to make vegan cheesecake because like in the u.s they have different products on the market like yeah. ve vegan cream cheese and things that you can exactly mimic um regular cheese. cheesecake 
but some people also use silken tofu to make cheesecake and it, it comes out the same with the you same. think that sometimes those cheese you know like that is not real cheese from cashew and all this kind of stuff and all this meat that is not that you know that is not a real meat mm -hmm. can be not healthy yes definitely companies that make <clears throat> Because it's industrialized, you know, in the end Companies of the day. Companies that make um, fake meat on the market, many of them are filled with a lot of ingredients that are way worse. Artificial. It's, it's artificial. It's better for you to just eat the meat than eat that. Exactly. But restaurants like this okay. and some companies, even local companies that make vegan meat, make it natural from natural ingredients. Like okay. this is natural. This is not artificial. Nothing artificial. They do it all from here, from natural all products. All from natural plants. Fruits. Yeah. yeah. Yes vegetables that's good yes okay so well guys even if you are vegetarian pay attention to what you eat like mm -hmm. it's not that healthy all these substitutes that you have for this uh, cheese and um, for meat. Uh, meat man it's soya but or seitan i think even seitan it's not healthy right yeah it's like a processed wheat right yes yeah, it's processed so everything that is processed i thought it's i thought it's vital guys be i <laughs> You knew that, by the way, um, for example, fermented things yes. are very healthy in a way that they contain a lot of B12. And B12 basically you get through meat most of the time. Well, but not fermented. necessarily. That's, um, I believe that's kind of fermentation process. a myth because it's not from the meat itself, but from how the meat was living. I agree with you. B12 actually comes from, Come the, from the, the ground, soil, from, the soil. from the soil. So when people ask me how do you get your b12 i say think about it the plants and everything they're coming from the soil and b12 is in the soil so we will get i have been vegan almost all my life and i never had problems with not getting enough b12 okay mm -hmm. so it means that your nutrition is pretty balanced yes and by the way like do you drink kombucha and all these kind of things that are, cont that are fermented in a way? I drink them occasionally. Occasionally? Yes, okay. not, not habitually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for me, like, in Mexico, for example, they have something really nice that is called tepache. I don't know if you know what is it, but it's like a fermented pineapple mm. that they do from the peelings of the pineapple. So they put it with sugar, with palm sugar, mm -hmm. and it makes it like, you know, that fermented. That interesting. And yeah, it's super healthy. I even heard about one guy that I don't know if it's a fairy tale or not, but uh, actually cured himself from cancer just by using this mm. fermented um, pineapple. That is very healthy by itself, like even without the fermentation. You have here pineapples, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They grow in the island. A lot. They grow here. And they are good. Yes. Actually, remember when we were at the Kingston Night Market? Okay. There was a man there with natural juices. Okay. He had a little thing like this. And he said it's the original pineapple. It grow same like the plant with the spiky leaves that pineapple okay. grows on. He said it grow on top the same in the same way as pineapple. Wow. And he said they got to what we call pineapple now. It came from that little. Oh. Originally, that was the fruit, and they they like they, um, made something made else hybrids, out of it. and uh, yeah. eventually we have the pineapple. Wow, I didn't know that. I mean, I know that a lot of vegetables and fruits like that, even the, um, the, the the cucumbers and a lot of things that we know today is not like originally like that. Oh, but this is very interesting. I didn't know that pineapple also. But it's so small. I was shocked. It's like this. Mm. Very small. And you can eat it, and there is a peel. You have to peel it, and uh, inside. And you have nothing left in the end, almost, <laughs> right? Yeah, I can say. Very small amount of fruit inside. Yeah. Also, when you do it with pineapple, it's like you cut so much. Mm. You do so much from the fruit. Okay, guys. So I think, like, so far, we showed you everything about the food, and the food is amazing. We're gonna wait for the dessert to come. And then uh, we're gonna get back to you. We are sorry okay, you can put it, yeah. Um, okay. So here we have brownie <laughs> with um, vegan ice cream on top. So we're gonna try it and tell you guys 
Yeah. You can say, guys, that she's very uh, comfortable with the camera, right? I mean, like, she's very natural. You sit, sit, sit. I will bring it. She's oh, very natural you. with the camera. So, yeah. All right. Are you excited? They yeah, even I'm have excited. a little sauce on the side. So let's let's just. This is like a maple. So, you think so? Yes. Uh, no, some kind of. All right, let's just. Sugar maybe. All right. Okay. So I cut it in half. Wow, that looks very good, right? Oh, yeah. this is like cheesecake. Oh, okay, you. so I want to show you guys the cheesecake. Look at that. It has like a fruit berries uh, on, top. on top. So this is vegan ice cream from a guy called Sasaya. He's also a Rastafarian. Okay. I normally go to his house to buy his artisan vegan ice cream. Okay. Mm. Wow. You like it? Not sweet at all. This is what I like about it. Oh, just right, right? Wow. I love it. All the focus go to the chocolate because it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. So you get that bitterness. I mean, yeah. And it's also gluten free, guys. Gluten free, beautiful. Brownie. Mm. Wow, that is really good. <laughs> so I can say guys big V on the sugar addiction today. come to Kamala's kitchen and eat healthy guilt free dessert <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely it should worth a visit here guys if you come to Jamaica like mm. that is really good <laughs> wow. This is sauce. Very interesting to see like. Oh, the sauce is agave. So come, you should be telling him yes. in what is he eating. Okay. Hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is all right. So this is our gluten-free brownie blast, and this is our. That's good. This is our. Coconut cashew chia cheesecake. Right. Coconut cashew chia, wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to cut and it so that the, the bottom part is. So the chia is also gives some, some texture. The bottom part is a real exactly. deal. Yeah. Yeah. Gelatin y texture. Yeah. Oh, so so Absolutely. this is the cut. And it's very. Um, so we use just a little bit of agave in, in the, the middle piece, which is just kind of blended up cashews okay. with the chia. Um, and then the bottom is actually chickpeas. Okay, um, so, so the crust is made from, yeah, see? perfect. Wow. Right? So that middle piece is our cashew. And then the top is just um, cooked down berries. And you know, when you cook down berries, it kind of brings the flavor, the flavor out, out, right? Like the sweetness, the natural yeah. sweetness of it. And so. There is really not much at all any even natural sugars. It's just kind of all the natural elements that from are from the fruits and from the well, exactly. okay. So you can see it's not very sweet, but it's sweet enough. Right? Mm. I like it. And then yeah. because it's gonna be high in protein, it's Chicken. filling. So you don't need much more than that. You kind of feel satisfied, wow. and that's really how we should enjoy desserts. You know, I agree. it's not this like oh, big yeah. big size of You know what I mean? Yeah. You just satisfy yeah. your sweet tooth and we give thanks and you know appreciate it and then you move on you know and because it's nutrient dense it has you know it's like a meal it's a complete wow. meal you have your good fats you have mm. your protein and you have your carbs right so it definitely feels like a meal yeah, yeah. and the little berries at the top has a little tartness that exactly. goes well with the sweet so it kind of tapers it down balances mm. it out a little bit more you know wow yeah, and then with the brownie, we use all gluten-free flours. Mm. Um, so it's not it's not just vegan, but also gluten-free. And also the ice cream, by and the way, right? the ice right? cream is vegan. It's yeah, vegan. So this is coconut-based. So no, like, um, lactose. Mm -hmm. No lactose. We, we never use lactose. That's good. So I actually wow. really appreciate the brownie because I actually practice a, a gluten-free lifestyle. 
Apart from when I come here, I like yes. to do for this video sure. one-offs. I don't yeah. practice to use gluten. And we are finding that yeah. more and more people are realizing their sensitivity. Yes. <laughs> Even if you don't have a full gluten intolerance. I agree. Intolerance, yeah. yeah. Just being gluten insensitive and yes. not being mindful of that yes. and not realizing. You might not realize maybe you have some digestive issues yes. that you just kind of, as we were saying earlier, pop a pill or, oh my gosh, I just feel this way. If you dig a little bit deeper, you will find a lot of the common issues that we face are nutrition related. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's nutrition deficiency in something, yes. vitamins, minerals, because we're not eating enough variety, you know, we're yeah. not eating enough Definitely. fresh food that has the phytochemicals and the antioxidants and the you know minerals and all of the vitamins. Those things are really important. And when we're deficient in them, I'm not just deficient, but some of us, you know, have so many issues with our gut that we are not even absorbing the, the nutrients. nutrients right so even if we're consuming them you I know, had that problem yeah to, that was me so. that was me before I went gluten free See? I used to be in in Paris eating one baguette every day like See? this uh, so much bread and gluten and I just couldn't understand you know I'm people are out here eating cake and cheesecake and all these things and, and they're, they're slim fine. and don't look anyway <laughs> and, you're and like, I always what had this me? big belly and stuff <laughs> the moment I cut gluten out See? I slimmed right down and my That's nutrition amazing. and my digestion this and everything it. improved I agree. Yeah, so gluten. even though I will indulge for instances like this just to make the video, yes. I, in my day to day, I don't. I definitely stay away from gluten yes. because I know my body doesn't sure. like That's it. That's good. And it's yeah. important. It's important yeah. to explore your body and pay attention to how you feel after you eat certain yeah. food because your body will tell you. Definitely. You will know definitely. whether it's a headache, whether it's sluggishness, yeah. whether mm. you're not supposed to eat a meal and feel sluggish afterwards. You know I what agree. I mean? That's not Tired. It. Tired. <laughs> For me, for example, I came to understand, I came to realize that I cannot eat first thing on the morning like heavy meals, mm. like with, with yeah. eggs and fried yeah. things yeah. and coffee not on an empty stomach See. or sweets not on an empty always stomach. always start my day with fruit. Exactly. Yeah. Always. So or two glasses of water, mm -hmm. first thing, and then like I eat something like granola with like vegetarian milk or something. Sure. But, but try also not to, or porridge from oat mm. without sugar, of course and with fruits a little bit and then like I can yes eat, I, always tell, I always tell people you know even in Jamaican culture we have this um this big culture of you wake up as soon as first thing in the morning boil dumpling and mm -hmm. boil banana and ackee and sauce it's heavy heavy it's, heavy it's, heavy, yeah. heavy food yeah, but really if you think about it the body is like a machine it's in this state of dormancy and fasting the entire yeah. night and then you just shock it in the morning <laughs> exactly yeah. you don't even allow it to run a little up you know warm up just like a car or a machine exactly. mm -hmm. so you really you really should wake your digestion up slowly people mm -hmm. don't understand that yeah. yeah it's very important be aware guys of and listen to your body and it's all about awareness in the end of the day like this mm -hmm. is all about like being aware of what you put in your body and mm -hmm. how your body will respond to it mm -hmm. and it's it's about forming new habits you know what i mean that are rooted in love Mm. like self-love you know you you are doing this because you love yourself so much that you're gonna make loving decisions for yourself every day you know and it's just it's really not our fault right because a lot of these things are just habitual passed um, on yeah. to you know, culture for culture yeah, culture you know, a lot of yeah. this is cultural mm -hmm. and so it just takes a little step back to take a look at what's been happening and just get a little more mindful and just say how can i make a a little more of loving decisions today for myself and every day you just try to continue to do it and then what ends up happening is that you feel so good when you make these changes mm -hmm. that is like you cannot think about it it's like you won't even think about going back just because like of how yeah, amazing yeah, energy you feel. is yeah. a higher vibration yeah. Yeah. do you want by the way to show me the airbnb sure let's do it sure, sure, come sure. on all right let's do it all right mama oh do you want to show uh, we want you to show us the airbnb okay it's ready we can go yeah, or you need go. to organize just in here. perfect let's do it so this is something new that you just started here right started. i mean we um our airbnb some other rooms but this is brand new like okay never never been used never been used the okay. furniture is brand new that's cool it's um a luxury cottage with a panoramic view okay. of the Blue Mountains, oh. which is famous for Jamaica's coffee. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah, this is why there is the blue coffee right here. It's called blue coffee. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's do it. We are going, by the way, guys, if you want to join us.
So you got enough what for your your um, content? Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Yes, I'm really happy. Um, people will really enjoy this chapter for sure. Okay, cool. How often do you do your is it like a blog? Yeah, it's a blog. Okay. It's a vlog. No, not a blog. blog. Yeah, yeah. A blog is like re writing right. and more like yeah. So basically we are just crossing the road and this is your house already? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, I feel it's about to be it's a little bit rainy right now. A little bit. That's the Blue Mountains up there. Okay. The world famous Blue Mountain coffee. So they grow coffee on these mountains. Yeah. So guys, this is basically the view that behind that we just opened the chapter on this side. Now we are on We're this beautiful here. side. Wow. So first of all, let me take you on the roof. Of the yeah, street. let's do it. Wow. This, this is, is a crazy view that you wake up every morning to. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. Not a lot of wild animals, right? Wow. What a view! Beautiful, huh? So Camila does many of her well-fit workouts here. Yeah. Yeah. So this is her yeah. backdrop. I love that. Yeah, I love it's it so also. Nice. With all the clothes in the mountains. So. Okay. So this is also your house, right? If I understand this you correctly. Is, yeah. Okay. Green, I think it's the... Oh, this is an avocado? Wow, that's a gigantic yes. one. So, All right. you can see that we have parquet floor. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Floor. Staircase. Oh, this is okay. nice and airy. And the bathroom is... All right. Yeah, I really like it. And then this is the signature space. Wow. And this is the first thing I saw when I walked in. Yeah. This is such a statement. Yeah, so you get the view from here. Now, like yeah. in the, in the what do you need more than that, guys? Then this imagine, view. Imagine, imagine, imagine it's raining, right? Okay. Yeah. It's raining and you have a nice cup of hot chocolate or herbal tea or coffee. Chocolate is not that popular here. No? <laughs> and you are sitting on this couch. <laughs> yes. And drinking your tea and looking at the rain falling maybe, outside. Maybe it's time to bring here some chocolate, <laughs> uh, some cacao. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. or the Blue Mountain coffee. Yeah, yeah. the Blue Mountain so cacao. Here now we have. Um, oh, that's a nice the bed. Master bedroom. Okay. So it's not big; it's just cozy. Yeah. And you know, double bed. That's nice. And then you have you know a nice view on even the side here. Okay. Yeah. And then it's you can even lay here and watch the um, view. The view. Yeah. yeah. Or if you want to have guests, then you will close this door and we'll have some kind of uh, bamboo blanket. Okay. Oh, okay. So that you can close the privacy here and have some privacy. Yeah. That's nice. But then you, you know, and then out here you can just be the yeah. Room. I like it. Yeah. I like it, and it's very clean, and it's very. It smells very good. Smelling. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, we have more. Yes. Okay, I thought we are like that's it. It's a two bedroom. Ah, it's a two bedroom. Okay. Wow. So here we have uh, this is closet space here. Okay. And then this is a second bathroom. Ah, we have a kitchen also here. Yes. Okay. So this is the downstairs bathroom. Okay. And this is a second bedroom. Ah, so this is a big apartment here. Yeah, and yeah. then this door. Yeah takes us outside so the person in this bedroom has a little you know natural nature natural. wow yeah. okay that's beautiful that's amazing. this is a king coconut yes yeah. what did you call it king coconut king coconut they are orange yes oh we just no. call it coconut <laughs> <laughs> but there is the the green that is the coconut and yeah. this is like the king it's very uh, popular in sri lanka by the way yeah, all right. So we have here a kitchen and a fridge and a kitchen. Oh, nice. Yeah, brand new. Yeah, brand new fridge, brand new stove. I like this. Yeah. 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 Who makes these for you? Uh, 
we just sort them out it's very know, everywhere that does the work like furniture it. yeah and then this is kind of um, yeah. modular because it, the space is not that big so you can pull out mm. yeah. and make it bigger yes and then here like a, have a, have a family dinner yes so we're going to be finishing this this will have actually be full of earth and then we're going to have um, grass so we're just um, okay you know, going to finish that part. <laughs> Here is the washing machine for the cottage. Okay. And then you can see it has its own tank. Mm, okay, and yeah. It has its own electricity system. So right. it's self-contained. Beautiful. So that's what we are okay. going to be renting. That's beautiful. Um, Genique. Yeah. Okay, come. We want to, I want to close the chapter. Okay, okay. guys. So basically, we're going to... Listen and this chapter birds. right here what listen to the birds oh. yeah, yeah that's i mean <laughs> you just need to come here guys and experience it by yourself so basically uh, i want to remind you again guys before we close the chapter um i will put the link to genique um to coconut Genica, sugar, he coconut keep, sugar he youtube channel my first name. yeah by my, by <laughs> he my first name, first name huh? yeah because I got everybody else calls me coconut sugar he's like Janique, Janique, so Janique. coconut sugar okay so coconut sugar i put the link i will put also the link to the restaurant uh that you will know how to come and get here and then when you will get to the restaurant you can also talk to camila and his and her mother what is your name Carida. Carida, Carida about the airbnb if you want to enjoy this beautiful airbnb here and share guys this video if you think someone might like it like the video of course and of course i see you on the next one don't forget also to subscribe ciao from this beautiful place here in jamaica on the mountain of kingston